Pokemon Mine and Zeba and Mine and Flex and we are the Twins. In today's video, we are going to be doing another fun DIY. This DIY is actually called a DIY wall decor, but it's not just any certain regular decor. Yeah. It is a yarn made out of your yarn. We will guide you through the, your journey, and then you're going to get a masterpiece. So this plain canvas will turn into something. So first, you'll need some paint brushes. Yes. So the next thing you need is a hot glue gun, or just like strong glue, because you wouldn't be able to get the like yarn on without the glue. So the next thing you'll need is you will need some paint, of course, because what are you going to use the paint brushes for? What are we going to put the paint on? I will be right back. I'm going to go get a plate. Me too, please. Okay, so she's going to go get a plate because we have um, these pallets, but they're all the way downstairs. So what you also need is, of course, yarn. yarn. The yarn is one of the most important part because without the yarn, you, it's not done. It's not complete. Because you want this to be a very beautiful and pretty wall decoration because when people come to your house, you don't want it to to just, just be boring and plain and original. Yes. You want it to be like, wow, that is really the masterpiece. I've never seen something like that. Yes. Okay, so another thing you will need is, of course, a canvas. Yes. It doesn't matter how small or big, but we're using this. It's kind of like a medium size. So you also are probably going to need some scissors because the, you can't just break the yarn apart. Yeah. You need yarn. scissors to cut the yarn. If the sharp scissors, make sure you have a pair of scissors. Yes. You don't need this, but you might want tape because if you want to like make sure you have a straight line or something, you can put the tape in the middle. I'll show you later. But you can put the tape in the middle and then you can paint one side and the other side will be cleaner. You might may want gloves so you don't get paint on your hands. And something like, I have a big t-shirt I just found down the stairs. And this, um, my mom ordered dresses. This used to be a dress, but it was five times too big. So if I get paint on it, I, it won't matter because I don't care if I get paint. And you're wearing that inside out. So that's all you need, so let's get started. So we're dipping it in water because it makes the paint go away smoother and dry way smoother. And even if you don't put the water on, it it won't be like rough. Yeah, but I just like to put the. So I just dip the paintbrush in water for like a second. I know this might seem kind of weird, but you'll see how smooth it goes on after this. It gives it kind of like this glossy look after on the after result, which is looks really good. Yeah. So I think I painted enough of water. So now. I'm going to use a paper towel and then you should just undab it. So that's the first step to put water in it. The second step to grab the brush and to grab your paint. First of all, you want pink. I want pink, pink. too. <laughs> yeah, like pink. It's really light. And pink. then like, I have white, so if I want something to be light, I can just like put the white and mix it up. Maybe some like purple. So I'm going to use pink and then I'm going to use white. And uh, this yellow. I'm going to use some red. Okay. So these are my colors. And I'm going to use blue, pink, purple, and then white. And make sure to shake the paint. So like, if you don't shake it, like one time, it's not to be liquidy. Yeah, it would be very like, like some of it will come apart. Like, like you know when you have ketchup and you don't shake it sometimes, so it can go water in here? Like that, so you like can shake it. Instead of, like, instead of ketchup, just paint. So the next step is we have to put the paint on the palette as much as you want, and then we have to paint it. Whatever colors we desire. So the tape helps like if, um, if you want to be the colors to, colors to be separated, it helps um, a border. So you won't have to like just trace a line with the ruler and be careful with not going over the line. So you can go over the tape, just about where the tape is. But I just like to use tape so I can get the perfect se section of paint in the perfect um, section of the but, canvas. Oh, by the way, these fit us so well because they're actually made for kids. 
and they're kid gloves. So they're instead of so big sizes, they're small like for kids. But make sure not to rush. Try your best. Don't rush because if you rush, maybe you, you would think that it doesn't look good and you would be upset. Oh, this is really pretty. This is like a really pretty pink. Guys, look, it's a really pretty pink. So if somebody says like you don't like your painting, well, but maybe that's just their opinion. Sometimes people won't like your painting, but you still like it. So if you like it, then it's good. But sometimes you don't like other people's painting, but you don't really have to say it. You can just keep it in your head because the person, it'll probably hurt their person's feeling. If you tell them I love it, then that wouldn't be honest. So just don't tell them anything. Yeah. Ava, say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty is in the eye of a beholder. Oh, you know what that means? No. That means that the beauty is in the person who looks at it. So they can decide if they like it or not. It shouldn't take that long if you don't have a huge canvas. Yeah. But, but if you have a huge canvas, it'll take like it. hours because a huge canvas and then you have to paint it all and then you have to let it dry. So guys, we are going to finish painting this and we'll see you when we're done painting. What we painted, yes. Ooh, mine's not really dry yet, so I can't really pick it up, but you might be able to see it. I like this. It looks like you painted your hair a little bit, too. Well, she got accidentally got paint on her hair. Oh, that's actually horrible. Look how much paint it is. I try not to like get it on top of your hair if it's real, because that would be bad. So we're done with the painting part. Now, we have to do the main part, which is put the yarn on. You don't need to have nearly as much colors as we have, but we just want this much color. So, so it might be good to use colors that were in your painting, so then it'll like have a theme. So basically what you're going to do is, first you have to cut the yarn. This is why dad is supervising him behind the camera, but I'm gonna show him how to cut yarn. Right even though she's nine years old, and she's showing him baby Look, you do that, put it all the way in, and just. <laughs> it doesn't work. Things are so dull. Oh, we, need some, we need some better scissors, I think. I don't so, I'm gonna give Ava some adult scissors. These are pretty sharp, so just be careful. And once again, if you have sharp scissors, have an adult around so they can help super supervise. Yeah, so that is right behind the camera. We have to get the hot glue gun or the glue, and we have to get the yarn, put it on however way you want. So what I'm doing is putting the glue on the canvas, and then I'm going to cut the excess off. She's cutting the excess off because she doesn't want it to look um, messy Bad. because um, it'll be a bunch of leftover. So this is like really fun because you could like make it any colors or any design and be very creative. Guys, if you hear the TV in the background, that's just my brother watching TV. going to be a problem because maybe you did something wrong but then you can fix it and, that's yes. right. and make it into something even better than you expected. So I'm just putting it in a kind of order. I'm just going to use the colors that are on my canvas, similar colors. Like there's a lot of pink on my canvas and like tan kind of. So I'm going to use a lot of those colors. Okay guys, so we are finally done. Yeah. It did not take that long actually. It might have looked like it took long, but it did not. Yeah, it didn't take that long. So this is mine. I use mostly like dark pink and light pink. And pink this is colors. mine. Mama helped me a little bit, but a lot. Mm. Just kidding, a little bit. Mm. Um, I use purple and blue. Mine's like a pinkish, more pinkish theme. So hopefully you can try this at home. If you want proof that my, our mom helped Alexis, 
Well, you should go check out the Facebook Live. It might have been a few days, but still, you should go check it out and see proof. This is our finished look, and we hope you guys try, try it at home. So, so thank yeah. you for watching and subscribe. To and make sure to go and watch more of our DIY videos. So you, yes. basically, when once you watch and do all of our DIY videos, your room and your house will be a masterpiece. Bye! and make sure you do more videos. Subscribe and show on the more of cases. Thank you for watching.